Welcome back to our next unit in Introduction to Machine Learning. This unit is on um, performance elevation, evaluation in machine learning, and we will discuss the training error. In the previous units, we discussed that we want to do performance evaluation in order to figure out how well our model does in prediction. What we want to estimate is the generalization error. Since we cannot compute the generalization error directly, we have to estimate it using data. One possible data set is, of course, the training data. So what we do is um, we use a certain learner in combination with some data set D to fit a model. And then we use the model to make a prediction on the same data set D. From the true and the predicted values, we compute our error or our error estimate. This error is called then the training error, as it is computing, computed on the training data. Makes sense. It is often called the apparent error or the resubstitution error. Let's look at an example where we know the true gen data generating process. We sample some data from the function that's shown here. This is a sinusoidal function with some measurement error epsilon. So we know the true function is sinusoidal um, and it's shown here in, in gray in the graph. The dots are sampled from um, this function and they um, are the dots represent the data points that we sampled. They do not lie exactly on the line because of the error epsilon. Now let's pretend we do not know the data generating process um, and we try to fit a model to estimate it. We use a polynomial of degree D, so a linear model where the covariate X is included with different exponents. Now our task is uh, to choose an optimal complex complexity, an optimal D. So let's just try to fit different, order, different orders of this po polynomial. They are all plotted here. So um, D equals to one means that we have a linear model with one covariate. This is the purple line shown here. The MSE on the training data is pretty high. And also from the plot, we see that this is not really a great fit. Um, the three degree polynomial looks pretty good in the graph. And also the MSE on the training data looks okay. Now, when we set D to nine, the MSE of, on the training data goes down even more. However, when we look at the graph, um, it seems like a pretty wiggly curve. It tries to go through all of the data points. The tra training error does not seem to see that problem. Of course, um, it doesn't see it because it doesn't know um, that this is the training data and that we actually want to generalize more than just um, a model that works really well on the training data. So now what are the problems with using the training error? The training error is an unreliable and overly op optimistic estimator of future performance. Modeling the training data is not of interest, but modeling the general structure in it. We do not want to overfit to noise or pecu peculiarities in uh, the training data. The training error of, for example, one nearest neighbor is always zero, as each observation is its own nearest neighbor during test time, assuming we don't have repeated measurements with conflicting labels and so on. There are so-called interpolators, such as interpolating splines, interpolating Gaussian processes, um, whose prediction can always perfectly match the regression targets. They are not necessarily good in reality, as they will interpolate the noise as well. In statistics, we use training error all the time. Goodness of fit measures um, like the classical R squared, um, likelihood, AIC, BIC, deviance, they're all usually based on the training error. They don't necessarily have to be though, but it's what we do. 
For models of severely restricted capacity and given enough data, the training error might provide reliable uh, information. For example, consider a linear model with five features with 10 to the six training points. Um, well, but what happens if we have less data or as the number of features increases? It is impossible for us to determine when the training error becomes unreliable. So maybe we don't want to use it just in the first place. <laughs>